Alabama men's basketball hosting number 15 Texas A&M tonight with an opportunity for their fourth win over a ranked team this season. Let's take you to Coleman Coliseum. Rodney Cooper, Levi Randolph among those taking in the game. Stars from last year's team. Dante Hall, the freshman from Luverne. He is coming on and one. Bama up 42-38. Defense to the block by Hall to Retin Obasahan, and Obasahan can finish as well as anybody in the Southeastern Conference. Bama looking good. Moore, defense, converting to offense. Arthur Edwards, the transfer from New Mexico, the steal, and then the nice layup with contact. Bama was up 51-45, but under a minute to go, look at this. Anthony Collins cuts it down to a one-point game, and then Collins had a chance to give A&M the lead, but the 92% free throw shooter missed a pair. Can you believe that? And Alabama wins 63-62. The tide is 14-9 overall, 5-6 in the SEC. Our Brandon Cameraman has more from Coleman Coliseum. A thrilling 63-62 win over Texas A&M at Coleman Coliseum. That one-point win over the Aggies is the fourth time this season that Alabama beat a top 25 team. Now, it's the first time they've done that since the 2001-2002 season. It's a different feel for Alabama basketball. And a big part of that is head coach Avery Johnson. He's given them great confidence. They run good stuff for Obasahan, and, and uh, you got to give them credit. Uh, just the, the confidence those kids have. You guys have seen it. You know, just his charisma, his leadership, you know, his vision and passion for the game. It's you, you literally can't put it into words. And it has it's been contagious since the day he stepped, you know, on this campus, or as you say, stepped off a private jet. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, he's been a tremendous help. And with him, he just instills that confidence in us. And more than anything, he just instills that, that conviction, you know, just to want to come out here and compete as hard as we possibly can for each other and, and for him. Obasahan himself had 16 points, five assists, and three steals in the game and said afterwards that while the team doesn't necessarily look at rankings leading up to the game, it's hard to ignore the feat of beating four top 25 teams this season. Up next for Alabama, two games on the road at Florida this Saturday, and then next week it's LSU. At Coleman Coliseum, I'm Brandon Cameron, WVUA 23 Sports.